Uh, hi everyone. Uh, this video is regarding the uh, Siemens PS. Indeed, it's not about codices, but I, I guess I will uh, put it into my uh, codices channel in order to have students having access to it, at least for a while. So here I have a project, and I've explained you how to deal with the uh, with assigning the IP to the PSC. Indeed, in this uh, video. I have a project within the Siemens TIA portal version 11 where I have added a PSC. Uh, the PSC that I'm working with is uh, S7-1200, indeed it's 1212C ACDC relay. And I have a PSC in my network as well. So in here in the online access, I can see this uh, PSC indeed, I have access to it. For this PSC, the IP address is or already defined. It has 192.168.0.4. So, in order to add that PSC to my project, what I need to do here is to, here in the device configuration, clicking on this Ethernet port, here uh, determine the same IP address as the one that I have here. So, 192.168.0.4, 192.168.0.4. And, and then I can obviously have uh, some piece of code here. So in the program blocks, for example, part. Uh, yeah, I can develop some piece of code here, but my aim here is to just uh, be able to go online and connect to the PSC. So with the current situation, the IP address that I have assigned to the PSC is what you have here. And it's the same as the one that we have here. So now, if I try to download all the configurations into PSC, let's see if it's possible or not, yeah? I should also mention that my PSC and my PC, both of them are connected to, to the same uh, local area network or they are connected to the same uh, switch, network switch. So here we see that it's not detected and if I click here on show all accessible devices, I guess it will be yeah, detected. It's in its zero. Uh, no, that's for the HMI panel. Let's wait for the PSC to be detected. I also have this HMI panel here as well, but I don't care about it for now. It just takes a while. And here we have the PSC yeah, with that, that IP address. Now if I try to to connect to this, we will receive some notification from the software. Let's just give some time to the software and then this load will be active. Hopefully. Test. Ah yeah, now it's, act it's uh, active. I can click on it. I want to connect to this PSC yeah, with this IP address that I have detected. And let's see what happens. Ah, this, this software is somehow heavy. So here you see the error. Connection to address which you have determined failed. Connection couldn't be established. The connection partner is not responding and we are not able to connect to the PS. So what, what's the reason? The reason is simply that the IP address of our PC is quite different. So if I check it here, as you may see, uh, the IP address that I have here is 10.170.85. So it's quite different than the IP address which is already assigned to the PSC and the IP address that I have used within my project. So one solution here, which I guess is the simplest one, is to change the IP address of the PC to be compatible with the IP address of the PSC and then over there we can access, we can go online indeed and and even we can reset the PSC to factory settings 
or we can change the, the IP address if you want. Yeah? So let's try to do it. Otherwise, we will not be able, I guess, to, to get connected. Just get rid of this. So to do that, I just need to go to this uh, control panel. Or maybe I can go directly from here, but nevertheless, we have the networks and sharing center. Uh, change adapter settings. And if you go to the properties, I just want to change the IP address which is assigned yeah, to, to the computer. In the properties, so by default I have this obtain an IP address automatically and now I want to to use, to, to assign an IP address similar to the one of the PSE. So 192.168.0, let's say 5 I will use. 192.168.0 and let's just use 5. So let's double check the the current IP address. So I have 192.168.0.5. Hopefully it should work. Uh, so now what I need to do is just just to double check if I have access to the PSC here in the list of accessible devices. And yeah, here it is. So we have it here. I have assigned the same IP address to the device here. That means that I'm now ready to download the hardware and software configuration into the PAC and you can see that quite quickly and easily the PAC is detected and I can go online by loading the, the code indeed into the PAC. And here we go. And yeah, finish. So now we can go online. And when we are online and connected, uh, we have this online tools here from where we can set the PS into the run mode, stop it, or memory, memory reset it. For example, if I set it to stop mode, now PS is stopped. I can do it from here as well. I can run the PSC or stop it. Uh, however, one option that I want to show you here is that we can reset the PSC into its factory settings. So the IP address which is assigned to the PSC, and that's what we had seen already, that that's uh, what we had here, yeah, 192.168.0.4. If I reset the PSC and to the factory settings and reset an IP address, which is possible only in the online mode, the IP address of the PSC will be removed. Obviously, I will uh, lose my connection to the PSC. And now, if I try to update the list of accessible devices, I will see the PSC in the list, uh, this time with MAC address not with the IP address. Let's just wait for it to appear here in the list. It should appear in it. It's still scanning. Uh, okay, scanning is completed, so I guess I need to refresh. Sometimes it takes a while for the PSC to, to be detected. Yeah, here it is. So this is the same PSC, but this time with the MAC address, because the PSC now doesn't have any IP address. Now if I go back to my uh, network settings and put it back into the obtain an IP address automatically, which means that I have 
some other IP address. And this time it's 10, 1, 70, 85. And now, uh, here if I set some IP address within the network indeed, uh, but I need to make sure that the IP address is available before assigning it. So I can assign 10.1.70, 10.1.80. And here I should assign a value which is uh, available yeah, in the, within the network. Let's, let's ping 10.1.70, like 2. So looks like it's not used in the network. So I will try to assign it here, assign it to the PLC. And uh, now we can try to download again to the device all the hardware and software configuration. And this time this IP address will be assigned to the PLC, the new IP address indeed. Uh, let's see if we will be able to detect the PSC. It show all the accessible devices. And we still need to wait. And here it is, yeah? This is our PSC. You can check the MAC address which appears here and the one which is printed on the PSC. And now if I try to load, let's go to the end and then we will see that the, the, the IP address that we have designed we, we have assigned to the PSC if I go online yep again I can stop or if I want I can run again and here in the online and diagnostics you can see the IP address yeah? 10172 and again if you want you can just uh, reset it here in the list of functions you can reset it with, with keeping the IP address or without keeping the IP address. So in this way you can get connected to the PSC which already has an IP address and you, you either want to keep that or you want to change it but the, the first step would be to change the IP address of your PC, get connected to a PSC, go online and then reset the PSC to the factory settings then do the process again, by each, but this time you can use the, the default IP address of for, for your PC. Indeed. So I hope this will be helpful for some of you. I have seen a lot of people looking for a solution for this, and I, I thought that it may be useful for, for you. So thank, thank you for watching, and see you next time.